Okay, Mr. Cole, I'm coming, I'm coming. I've got the book, I got the book. Let's see if I got the page. Look, I think this is going to be the, the. Oh, good, I got the page. I thought I messed uh, up. Russell. Yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be the last session uh, with uh, Saul. Yeah, Native Life in South Africa. Only because I picked up short, well, two paragraphs, and I want to talk more than read. Okay. Uh, we're on page 207. Now, uh, Saul Plagi, he's a journalist. Well, he's a journalist, academic, if you want to put it that way. Why? And for those of you who don't um, know really academics, what academics do mm. is they make a point, and then they, at various points throughout their papers, they repeat the point. Yeah. They, they back up the point, of course, but it's, it's still repeated a lot. And in journalism, you start, well, I think he's writing this more. He he's, he's has an eye of a journalist, mm -hmm. but he's writing more like an academic in this book. Uh, a very good academic, very good journalist, actually. But that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. In fact, if I am wrong, you can prove me wrong by picking up the book and reading it. You should read it. It's a classic. But here are two paragraphs. Here we go. Uh, don't mind the dog. We're we're here we're here in the Eastern Cape. We're in we're in the location, Dumbaza being the location, so uh, oh gosh, I better <laughs> say something. I want to get my reading glasses. I better, oh, I better yeah, get my reading glasses. Uh, <laughs> 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 See, them young eyes don't care. Uh, them young eyes. <laughs> Okay, even though it's daytime, it's less difficult. Oh, much better. Whoa, here we go. The time will come when these leaders, he's talking about the people who put into this, the, the Native Land Act, and the people who are, are so-called trying to uh, they speak for the natives, but they're actually you know, speaking against the natives' interests. Yeah. In fact, in this modern era, uh, at least in black America, we have a great term for it that other people are picking up, of course, called the misleadership class. The misleadership. Yeah. The time will come when these leaders, misleaders, um, will tire of spending their own money in paying fares to the, gov uh, to the government railways to render fee services to a government which taxes them to, to pay other people lavishly. Uh, for okay. similar work, I'm sorry. <laughs> While it does not even tender them so much as a word of thanks. Uh, what, what, what he's talking about there is that 
when they have a complaint against the land act or whatever have it, they have to spend their money to go to a centralized place, either Pretoria mm -hmm. or, or or Cape Town, mm -hmm. um, to put their complaint in. But they have to spend their own money to mm -hmm. <laughs> to, to, to go and complain. Yeah, I and as you can as you can imagine, the people who have that kind of money to go and complain, they're not well, they're not of the people. They mean they're not they're not poor, they're not, you know, workers and stuff like that. Let us continue. Instead of the smallest recognition for our voluntary services, the union government repays our loyalty by prosecuting our widows and fatherless children. With the cold blooded provisions of the Natives Land Act. These cruelties are euphemistically described as the first step towards the segregation of white and black. But they might more truthfully be styled as the first steps toward the extermination of the blacks. And I really wanted to stop there, especially with the, the, the last phrase, the extermination of the blacks. Now, in reading this book, I've just come to realize that most of the situation that colonizers, the colonialists, or the colonizers put us, I'm talking not just about Africans, but worldwide, in, are paper plants. All those things, whether they be so-called laws, or even money. It's paper in this it's come down to in this day and age. Now when you read a book, even if it's a hundred years old, you get things from it, but because it's a hundred years old, you have your own thoughts because you've read other things that or more modern things or whatever throughout the ages that go into your thinking. I am grateful for Saul Plagi for writing this book a hundred years ago. Because one of the things I realize is that what needs to be done, I mean, anybody wants to, they want to change, change, reform the colonizer system. They want, I don't know what they want. They want stuff. What I've come to understand, this is not my school, it is this, this is me, don't put it, I don't want him to get in any trouble. Yeah. We gotta rip up these paper plans, rip up the laws, rip up the contracts, rip up the paper money. Simple. 
That's how you start ripping up the system that you're in, the colonized system that you're in that colonize your mind. Even with the academics, they colonize your mind. Now, if it sounds like I'm angry, an angry black man, you know, I used to get that when I was young. Uh, you have anger, you're an angry black man. What makes you so angry? Because I am angry. I'm angry because of the stupidity that we allow ourselves to be in. It's stupid to continue to do the same things, to continue the colonization of your own mind. There's this thing, this is saying that there 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 are uh no there are escape proof prisons. There are no escape proof prisons. Because if a man made it, a man can unmake it. Flawed, unjust, unfair men, well, I'm saying men, you know, I don't get politically correct, men made this system that continues to colonize men so men can unmake the system that continues to colonize them. So there it is. You have a choice. Continue to colonize your mind and colonize the generations behind you because if you're not, you're not an example of uncolonizing your mind, then they're not going to be able to uncolonize their mind. If and I don't want to hear that business about, oh, wait, we can't do it in life, you got to go slow, whatever it is. I don't want to hear that. And if you get out to out to I am doing my sickle, sickle, and I feel Let's do it this way. Since it's a hundred, this use round numbers. A hundred, since it took a hundred years from the Land Act to, 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 to now to colonize, uh, thoroughly colonize on all levels of our societies. It should take only a hundred weeks to undo what they did. Yes, you can undo a hundred years of, of, of injustice with a hundred weeks of justice. Your choice, colonized. Yeah. 